Hello everyone. I was asked recently how to format a one terabyte drive on Windows 7 uh, to FAT32. Now we're not converting a drive or anything like that. We're, we're actually going to just format it to FAT32. And basically here are the limitations. Uh, straight from Microsoft it says FAT32 file system has size limitations. You can't create a FAT32 partition greater than 32 gigabytes. Well that's not true. You actually can, but for some reason Windows is limiting you to a 32 gigabyte partition inside the operating system with the operating system software. Also, as a, on a FAT32 partition, you can't put a file on it that is bigger than 4 gigabytes. Uh, that is actually true. It's a limitation on the actual file system itself. So if you're, if you're going to format a drive FAT32, understand you'll never put a, a, a file on it that's bigger than 4 gigabytes. So if you're putting on me, uh, videos on it or uh, uh, let's say um, ISOs or whatever, if they're over 4 gigabytes, you will not be able to put them on the drive. It will actually tell you that there's not enough space on the drive, but they are, you know, even though it's a one terabyte, it cannot put a, a file on it bigger than four gigabytes. So if you understand those limitations, then you know we're ready to go. Basically, um, Windows 7 for some reason has been limited to formatting a drive that's 32. Uh, 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 sorry, formatting a, a FAT32 partition greater than 32 gigabytes. You can't do it. But there is a wor workaround. So let's go take a look at this. I go to um, uh, so I'll go to the Windows button and go to uh, computer. Right click manage. Sorry, right click computer and then choose manage. And then you'll be in your uh, computer management uh, plugin. So then we're going to go to the disk management down here. And you see that I have a USB storage drive. I already formatted this once. Um, I'm going to unplug it just to make sure there you go see um, when you're formatting a drive you got to be super super sure that you're formatting the right drive okay so I'm plugging it back in again and it's a USB uh, Toshiba external backup drive it works great I showed a picture of this at the beginning of this video and uh, it's a great solution I've, I bought three or four of them and I haven't had any problem with any of them I actually use one of the hard drives inside the enclosure inside a laptop so I'm waiting for this to come back up again here, and it will. It's just clicking away right at the moment. It's probably doing a check disk on it right at the moment. Anyways, uh, I plugged it back in, and it's going to come back up as the drive E. Like again, I can't be more uh, insistent on you knowing exactly which partition you're formatting. Because if you format the wrong partition, you're going to lose data you don't want to lose. Okay, there it is back again. Uh, now, obviously, I've already formatted it to uh, FAT32. So I'm just going to do a quick format here and show you the limitations. So I'm going to hit Format. And as you can see, I only get two options, NTFS and XFAT. Well, those are fine for Windows 7 and, and uh, up systems. I think you might actually be able to get it to work. Uh, in XT, but I doubt NTFS will work. Uh, 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 well, I'm not sure if it will or not. Anyways, uh, we're here to format it FAT32. So I'm just going to choose one of these real quick. I say NTFS, and I'm going to perform a quick format. Notice that you did not get an option to uh, use FAT32 at all because the drive is over 32 gigabytes. Anything bigger than 32 gigabytes, you can't do it. So I guess all they want you to format as far as FAT32 goes are thumb drives and uh, memory cards. Okay, so there we go. It's formatted NTFS and it's uh, you know it looks healthy and it's we're fine on this. So next we're gonna uh, go get the tool that makes this uh, makes it possible to format this drive fully uh, to its one terabyte drive using FAT32. So this. Uh, fine company here. These people actually made a, a, a nice little uh, tool for formatting uh, drives to FAT32. Here you can see that they're using a FAT, a three terabyte drive uh, to format. I'm not sure whether you can go that size or not uh, because I think there's a two gigabyte format limit, but I don't know. There's, there it is right there. And uh, not sure if it would work or not, but it looks like they actually managed to do it. Anyways, 
Um, I'm going to put the link for this uh, company or this uh, this tool in the description for you, so it's real easy. So I'm just going to format. Uh, sorry, download this FAT32 format, and uh, you can do it by clicking here or here. And I'm going to choose Save As and save it to my desktop just to make life easy. There we go. And it's called GUI format. So um, my virus scanner is done with it. So let's take a look here. Here it is. GUI format. So double click that. My user account control says, is asking me for permission to run it. I say yes. So here we are. Um, automatically it sees the E drive as what we're going to be formatting and uh, as you can see I labeled it USB storage just to make sure that you know hey we're formatting the right drive do not format your C drive uh, most most cases that's going to be your system drive so again be super sure you know which drive you're formatting now you get to choose you get to choose the allocation size defaults pretty big it's up to you uh, what you set it to I like 4096 I find it, it makes a, the drive a little more uh, efficient so at this point we've got the E drive which I know is the the one terabyte external drive it even tells me that right here 1000 gigs is one terabyte and I've chosen quick format because otherwise we'd be here all day even on the quick format it's going to take about two minutes to format so I'll start this process and then uh, you know probably speed it right up so that we get through it quickly and then uh, pick it up at the end Okay, I say start. Do you really want to format drive E? Again, can't insist, I can't be you know, more insistent on this. Make sure you're formatting the right drive. Otherwise, you're going to be sorry. Click OK. All your stats for it are here. And uh, I'll wait for this to finish, and uh, I'll pick it up at the end. Okay, there it is finished, and uh, all the stats are here. Again, uh, you know, I, you know, here they say if you find this code useful, consider donating at uh, richcorpdemon.co. Blah blah blah. Gooey format. Um, you know, that's up to you. Anyways, at this point, we formatted the whole drive as one partition, one terabyte. So I'm gonna hit close here, and then we're gonna go back to disk management down here, and then. Just to check it, you'll see right there, it says healthy primary partition, 931.51 uh, gigabytes. It actually is one terabyte. It's just, again, I have a video dealing on why it says that size. But anyways, um, as you can see, full part partition uh, is FAT32 if that's what you require. All right. And that's how you get around the 32 gigabyte size limitation on Windows uh, seven for FAT32 partitions. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.